welcome to the British Academy of Floral Art. I'm Karen Taylor and I'm here on this very wet afternoon just to show you how to make a spring design utilising some old bottles, twigs, wool, string um, and anything else that you have hanging around in your house that you might wish to decorate it with. So you can see I've got this one here, which is in this rather funky colour wool. Wasn't quite sure how it was going to turn out, but actually um, I quite like it. So what you will need is a um, empty oil bottle or a salad dressing bottle. It's not too tall and these are going to be grouped together. So I've got one just a tiny little bit higher than the other to give a bit of variation. And uh, the neck of it, as you can see, is not too wide because I'm only putting one twig in there. But if you haven't got this size and you've got something bigger, then you could put two or three twigs in there and just make one design. So I'll just run through, if I angle that twig out of my face there, I'll just run through what you'll need to make it. So um, any old balls of wool that you have at home, I've got this little one here as well. If you want to make it more rustic, you could use some string. Then, of course, you need your bottles, uh, a pair of scissors, some glue. Now, you could use a hot glue gun just to attach the wool on the start of the bottle. But if you haven't got a hot glue gun, then cold glue is fine. And uh, I've also got sellotape with me as well, because I thought it would be quite nice if I could just sort of catch in the first piece to the bottle with the sellotape, but then use the glue at a later stage. So without further ado, I shall crack on and show you how to put this design together. Take two. So the next part of the design is covering the bottle. And I'm just going to use a little bit of sellotape and start sort of down uh, near the base of the bottle. So I'm just going to take a little bit off there and catch it in. So you can use your hot glue or um, a, a cold glue and adhere it to the bottle that way or if you did have some double-sided tape that would be really good because you could take it right the way up the length of the bottle in strips and that would give you just added security you need to be a little bit careful when you come towards the base because uh, of the bottle being glass and shiny uh, the wool does tend to, to slip off the end so I probably should have taken the label off before I started but I did know that I was going to cover it and the wool is going to be about two or three thicknesses deep, just to get that nice textured finish. And you just keep binding and working your way up the bottle. Now, my bottle's got um, shoulders on it here. Um, and so the, the wool does slip a bit when it goes over this ledge. So if you had a more tapered bottle, it definitely would be easier to do. But I should put some glue dots on there and just catch it in as I work towards it. So we're just going to keep binding and decorate it in this very attractive wool until we get right to the top. So I'll continue on with that in a minute, but you can see how that's that's building up there. And then the next thing that we're going to do is take our twig. So this is um, a little bit of pussy willow and you can see that I have already because it does take a little bit of time started to bind the wool around it and you want to cover about 70% of the branch and you can take it out as far as you want to and if I think if you look closely you can see that I've left areas bare just so that the natural uh, twig comes through and you do have to be careful because it's a little bit brittle this and the catkin started to um, fall off as well so you can glue those back on again afterwards but I'll just show you the finishing part of the, the base of the, the twig so I'm just going to take a little bit of wool and I'm actually just going to do a little knot around this side branch there just like just like so and then catch the, the tail of it downwards and then when I bind the wool around which has been really misbehaving it's rolled off the table I've had to put the cat out of the room because I thought it was playtime 
and we're just going to come in and bind this around because I just want to show you the base because as I said the base is going to end up uh, like the stopper which will give you uh, security when you, you place this, this into your design so if I'm careful and I turn the twig this way I should be able to bind a little bit faster and catch this this in there we go so we're getting towards the, the bottom now so uh, when the charity shops were open of course I picked up balls of wool from from there just oddments to to make and decorate things but I'm sure as I say if you've not got wool you could use strips of um, material uh, or, or garden twine or cord uh, and decorate it how you would like. So I'm just getting to the base of this, this shoot, side shoot here. There we are, can you see? And um, now I'm just going to take it around the bottom bit. And this is where you want to build it up and taper it. So I'm going to go up and down a few times. And actually, the, my base here is a little bit shorter. Um, you could have it longer so that it goes right down the length of the bottle. Um, again, will give you some better security. So I'm going back on myself just to taper this. And back down again. And hopefully you'll gradually see it, it widen. A bit like the spinning wheel when they used to put the wool spin the wool on there so i couldn't find um, any cherry blossom or prunus um, but that would be absolutely lovely with the flowers flowers on at this time of year forsythia is not out yet uh, that's another decorative branch that would look lovely so can you see the width of it now is a lot thicker and what I'm going to do is when I finish covering this bottle it's going to sit in there as a continuation of the decoration of the wool going up so I'm just going to uh, complete that and then I'll come back and put it all together for you and you can see the finished design so uh, the bottle's been covered as you can see I've left a little bit of twine um, so that it'll help me attach the twiggy branch here that has also been covered so you can see that bulbous binding piece on the bottom and that sits in the top here nestles in there like so and then just with this little piece that's left I'm going to take that around to give just that little bit of extra security in there and then you can decorate these designs how you wish to. So if this was for um, a summer design, you could put some silk flowers on there, glue them onto the branches. Uh, we're coming up to Easter, so this would make a fabulous Easter tree. Um, you could put painted eggs on there. And um, I'm going to place a few little birds on here as well, but you could put chicks. Um, it's a really good seasonal design. Christmas, you could have baubles um, and some little birds on there. So I'm just going to catch that around there with a tiny bit of glue. And then put the two together so that you can see. And I also have one behind me as well that I did earlier. And that one was with twine. So I'll, I'll show you that one just so that you can see the, the finished piece. So we just catch that in there. And then I'm going to put a couple of these, as I say, these little birds that I got over Christmas time. And just going to sit those on the branches there. So the lovely thing with this is you can stagger both the bottles behind each other and really build up a design. So if I pop one of the birds back there and maybe another one just in this area here and then I will flip them around to show you so hopefully you can see the finished designs like so. So I will take a photograph of these as well but you can see really with very little you can have fun and um, create something that's 
really quite stylish. It can sit by a mirror, mirror even on a mantelpiece uh, in your window. So I shall save mine to Easter, and I'm sure I'll be putting a few chocolate bits and pieces on there. And I'll just show you the other two that I did. So a little bit, um, a little bit more restrained. But again, this was one that was done with twine and some wool and then I've covered the other bottle completely in the wool there as well. So I hope you've enjoyed that. It would be lovely to see what you create. Um, I think they're really they're really good fun. So I hope you've enjoyed it and look after yourself and see you soon. Bye.